Supernal's 120 miles per hour flying car is as quiet as a dishwasher and was designed using bees. Hyundai Motor Group's Air Mobility subsidiary has finally unveiled its passenger EVTOL aircraft, the SA2, the only one trying to rise at CES 2024. Although electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, EVTOLs, that will provide superfast urban transportation seem to be a few years away, Hyundai's air transportation division Supernal appears to be making a determined move to make this type of transportation a reality. The latest product concept for Supernal's EVTOL, the SA2 is a pilot plus four-passenger all-electric vehicle designed to deliver safe, efficient and, yes, affordable daily passenger air travel. Building on Supernal's first concept from CES 2020, the SA1, this new SA2 is designed to cruise at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour at 1,500 feet and zip up four passengers at a time for distances of 25 to 40 miles. Eight tilting rotors provide vertical flight capability. At takeoff, the front quad is facing the sky while the rear quad is facing down. Then, they all turn horizontally for a normal flight. But the real boon is Supernal's promise that the SA2 will be as quiet as a dishwasher when in service, 65 dB during vertical takeoff and landing phases, and 45 dB in horizontal cruise. The SA2's design is striking, and for a reason. Luke Donkawoke, President, Chief Design Officer and Chief Creative Officer of Hyundai Motor Group, gave Wired a tour of the interior. The brand hosted Wired at its media event at CES and paid some of our reporters' travel expenses. Donkerwoke explained on tour that the glass insertion into the body was modeled after specific biological entities, insects. Generative design was also used in creating the seat frames. Thus, as little metal as possible was used, thus reducing weight and giving the seats energy-absorbing properties to dissipate the forces resulting from vertical takeoff and landing. Behind the cabin, eight separate battery units are located at the rear of the body. These units are reserved for safety. If one battery unit stops working, the others can continue to power the vehicle. Indeed, Supernal wants to achieve commercial aviation safety levels for the SA-2, which means, among other requirements, that in case of failure the aircraft will be fitted with spare components not only in the powertrain but also in the flight controls and avionics. It turns out that the SA-2 doesn't need all eight propellers to fly.